Hello and welcome back. Part two of solution of this case. In part one, we have already calculated the coefficients of regression as well as the two means. Now, with the use of these four, we are going to find out the equations of the lines of regression. The first is line of regression of y on x. That means y is dependent variable and x is independent variable in this case. And the standard form is y cap or y e or y c equals to a plus b x. The formula, the classical formula is y minus y bar equals to b y x into x minus x bar. So y minus 8 equals to minus 0.65 into x minus 6. Let us simplify y minus 8 equals to minus 0.65x minus 0.65 into minus 6 equals to plus 3.9. So y equals to minus 0.65x plus 3.9 plus 8. And therefore, ultimately, y equals to minus 0.65x plus 11.9. That is y cap or y e equals to 11.9 <coughs> minus 0.65x. The another way of finding the same equation is first to find out the value of a separately. And then to substitute our value of A as well as B means B by X in this standard format. And the same equation can be there. Let us find it. Now the standard form is Y cap equals to A plus B X. As we know B stands for B by X. Okay. If we substitute X bar in this equation the result will be y bar. Yes. If we substitute the mean of the independent variable in this function, the result will be the mean of the dependent variable. So we can say that y bar equals to a plus b y x into x bar. And this gives us the formula to calculate a. This can be shifted to the left hand side. Therefore it will be y bar minus b y x into x bar equals to a. Therefore, a equals to y bar 8 minus minus 0.65 into x bar means 6. So, it will be 8 minus minus 3.9. It is 8 plus 3.9. So, a equals to 11.9. See, it is <clears throat> Therefore, y cap or y e that is estimated equals to 11.9 minus b stands for b by x minus 0.65 x. Now, if we have some known value of x, suppose x takes value 10. When x is 10, what can be the estimated value of the dependent variable y? y will be, you can write any one of these two, 11.9 minus 0.65 into 10, because x takes value 10. So it will be 11.9 minus 6.5. So when x takes value 10, the estimated value of y comes to 5.4. Yes. Estimated value of y comes to 5.4. So this is the process. These two are alternative methods of obtaining the line of regression. Now it is upon you. I leave it to you which method you prefer to use. In modern days, in most of the schools and colleges, this method is used. But this is also equally useful this is classical originally stated method and this method was later on developed by the teachers. Now it is turn of the line of regression of x on y. In this case we believe that x is dependent on y. 
as we are well aware that the concept of correlation in concept of correlation x and y both are independent and dependent on each other at the same time so as an exception to the normal tradition in mathematics we believe x as dependent variable on y the standard form is x cap or x estimated equals to c or you can use a as it is c plus by and the formula according to the classical way is x minus x bar equals to bxy into y minus y bar so x minus 6 equals to minus 1.3 into y minus 8 therefore x minus 6 equals to minus 1.3 y plus 10.4 Therefore, x equals to minus 1.3y plus 10.4 plus 6. So, x is minus, rather, 10.4 plus 6, 16.4 minus 1.3y. Therefore, x cap or x estimated equals to 16.4 minus 1.3y. Again, we have the same alternative where available to us like this we can calculate c first and then we can write the equation let us do it c if we substitute y bar in the place of y the result will be x bar so it becomes x bar equals to c plus b for bxy into y bar and that means now we have formula there x bar minus bxy into y bar equals to c therefore c will be x bar 6 minus minus 1.3 into y bar 8 it will be 6 minus minus 10.4 so ultimately it will be 6 plus 10.4 so c is 16.4 see it is now again we have to substitute c and b that means bxy in the standard form of the equation the result will be the equation of x on y so x cap or x estimated is 16.4 minus 1.3 y the result is the same so in both ways we can arrive at the equation of the line of regression if or when y equals to 10 let us suppose that the independent variable takes value of 10 what happens to the dependent variable x estimated will be 16.4 minus 1.3 into 10 that is 16.4 minus 13 so the value or estimated value of x comes to 3.4 when the independent variable or y takes value 10 so these are the two alternatives to arrive at the equation of the line of regression and in the equation of the line of regression if we substitute the known value of the independent variable we can have the estimated value of the dependent variable that's it thank you very much